The Samsung 960 EVO is a new range of M.2 SSDs based on similar technology to the company's flagship 960 Pro drives. Like previous EVO drives, these are the slower, cheaper sibling to the Pro, but unlike previous versions, that still makes these among the fastest SSDs you can buy. That's because they're still based on Samsung's very latest 48-layer VNAND memory and Polaris controller. Samsung claims maximum sequential read speeds of 3,200 megabytes per second, while maximum write speeds hit 1,900 megabytes per second. Random performance is also incredibly fast, with Samsung claiming 380,000 IOPS read and 360,000 IOPS write. That makes these drives faster than even last year's 950 Pro drives, right across the board. The key difference between these drives and the 960 Pro is that the NAND used here is configured to store three bits of data in each memory cell, rather than two. This so-called TLC NAND allows Samsung to pack more data into the same space and in turn makes for a cheaper drive. The downside is it's slower to write to. To get around this, manufacturers cheat by having a small portion of the NAND run in an SLC or single level mode to allow for fast writes for a short period. If, however, you continue to write the drive beyond that SLC capacity, then write speeds drop dramatically. For the 960 EVO, it drops as low as 300 megabytes per second for the smallest capacity drives. Thankfully, it shouldn't be that often that most users find this a limitation, as the SLC cache on these drives is plentiful. You get 42GB, 22GB or 13GB, depending on which capacity drive you have. The other disadvantage with TLC NAND is lower longevity. While the 500GB 960 Pro is guaranteed to be error-free after a total of 400TB has been written to it, the 500GB 960 EVO is only rated to 200TB. Plus, the EVO only has a 3-year warranty rather than 5. That may sound alarming, but the reality is these drives will probably last the average user the best part of 10 years, if not more. As for capacities, you can buy the 960 EVO in 250GB, 500GB and 1TB models, but not in 2TB, unlike the 960 Pro. That's a bit disappointing considering the drive can theoretically pack in more data to each of its NAND modules, but at least you get a far lower cost of entry, with Samsung charging around £150 for the 200GB drive. In comparison, you can't get a 960 Pro for less than 350. But enough preamble, let's look at some benchmarks. Firing up Crystal Disk Mark, the 500GB 960 EVO immediately shows that Samsung's sequential speed claims are not exaggerated. Meanwhile, AS SSD never matches maximum quoted speeds due to the way it handles its data, but it's clear these are astonishingly fast drives. However, when it comes to random read and write speeds, Iometer shows Samsung's numbers are maybe a little generous. For sustained random read are recorded around 270,000 IOPS, rather than the 330,000 Samsung claims. Meanwhile, random write performance starts off matching the expected 330,000, but very quickly drops to around 100,000. They're still very impressive numbers overall, but there's a clear gulf between these drives and the Pro models. A problem that affects both drives, though, is the real-world impact of all that speed. As I showed in my recent video comparing the 960 Pro to a fairly cheap and slow SATA SSD, game load times are almost totally unaffected by buying a really fast SSD. And sure enough, I had the same experience with this drive. Windows boot times are also largely unaffected. There are some situations where the speed will be felt, whether it's loading a batch of photos into Photoshop, copying large files back and forth, or every now and again, that extra burst of speed will make the difference between a game stuttering for just a moment and running completely smooth it just won't be very often. What's more, this is still a fairly expensive drive, so if you do only care about having a reasonably fast computer that'll load games quickly and generally feel quite responsive, then there's a strong argument for sticking with an even cheaper SATA SSD and spending the money on capacity rather than speed. Otherwise, the Samsung 960 EVO is the drive to get right now. The 960 Pro is overkill for most users, whereas the EVO strikes a near-perfect balance of cutting-edge speed and reasonable value.